So this is my review of Linear Algebra Done Right by Sheldon Axler. Now this book you can find for a new copy at Amazon for about 40 bucks, but you can definitely get it cheaper for used copies or at other bookstores. Now looking at the table of contents here, it starts off with vector spaces and moves on to finite dimensional vector spaces, followed by a big section on linear maps, and then it's a very short section on polynomials, chapter four. Um, chapter five goes with eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and invariant subspaces, followed by inner product spaces. Chapter seven is on operators on inner product spaces, followed by operators on complex vector spaces, and then operators on real vector spaces. And then finally, it ends with trace and determinant. That's the last chapter of the book. Now, if you read the preface, uh, there's two parts here, preface for the instructor and also preface for the student. It kind of explains why the book's title is called specifically Linear Algebra Done Right. And the reason why that is is because the author doesn't believe that linear algebra should be taught just with determinants. And so that's the reason why determinants are not introduced until the very last chapter of the book. But instead, it focuses on the main point of linear algebra, which is primarily going to be linear operators on finite dimensional vector spaces. So finite dimensional complex vector spaces and also finite dimensional real vector spaces. Now, if we move on to the structure of each chapter of the book, uh, the first page of the uh, chapter is primarily gonna be a preview of what's to come in that chapter. So it just gives a brief introduction. And then we go on to the individual subsections. So 1A, 1B, 1C, etc. And what I like about this book is the organization. So it definitely uh, organizes the definitions, the properties, and then examples. It puts all those in different boxes and uses a different color just so you can kind of distinguish between each of the different uh, items in this chapter. So it has a lot more definitions, examples. And so the lecture, I guess the lecture content is, gives a lot of information for each chapter. So it goes on for at least a couple pages. And there's also a good amount of visuals, which is very helpful for some. In case you don't understand just the wording itself, sometimes you can just look at the pictures and that might help you a lot. And then finally, at the end of the chapter, it ends with the exercises. And then it finally goes on to the next subsection. So overall, I would recommend this book to anyone who's taking specifically a second course in linear algebra um, or wants to learn the content for a little bit more advanced undergraduate linear algebra. And so as a math major, you probably have to take two different linear algebra classes. And so the first one you take is mostly a computational class, but this one, which was specifically designed for is going to be a more theoretical class and more proof based. So if you look at most of the problems in this book, it's almost all proof and only some computational exercises. And so, yeah, this is a great book for specifically that purpose. And so by no means is, is this a perfect math book because there's always going to be some sections where you might get stuck or you might get confused and don't understand the content. And so that happened with me a couple times in this book. I completely didn't understand duality at first or in the dual space mapping when I first read it. But sometimes you just have to read over and over again, and then you'll understand it. So I wouldn't say this is a perfect book, obviously, but it's a comprehensive, a great comprehensive book for learning basically upper level um, or undergraduate advanced linear algebra. And that's all for my review. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or you want to recommend another great linear algebra book, uh, feel free to do so. And with that, thank you for watching.